Hello, Overbury Troop. Welcome back. I'm The Real and The Overbury Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, bro, guys, whatever, stay tuned, stay ready because I have some exclusive, exclusive tea just for you about the real housewife of Beverly Hills and girl we definitely need to talk about it you know that Erica Jane is now creating all of these troubles with Dorit Kemsley well what if I tell you that nothing is what they want to make us believe that it is girl there is a lot involving this and we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh mess hey yo me no is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Hello everyone and welcome back and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. Girl, these are real roses and they get a special treatment and last up to a year one year you will not have to do anything to them you don't have to like put water or anything just like that they are beautiful and well they are our partners now uh, you can find their beautiful flowers they have all kind of colors all kind of shapes all kind of boxes they are perfect for anniversaries for birthdays for saying i'm sorry i love you uh, i miss you wherever they ship everywhere so make sure to check them out i'm i'm loving them and they smell amazing so if you want to get your roses go to the link on the description of this video and do not forget to use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order okay so make sure to get your roses right now and let me know in the comments below if you got some roses all right okay so let's talk about this mess for a while i mean i have been telling you this exclusive tea you know and about how erica jane is gonna turn on Dorit kemsley right i told you guys this from the beginning because now erica has some special information about Dorit that Erica is ready to use to divert, you know, any kind of attention against her. And she doesn't care who she has to take down or what she needs to do. She will just do it, right? So um, we saw on BravoCon Erica Jane taking a, a shot at Dorit. Nothing to do with, you know, the the information that she had but she basically just said that the next couple that was going to get divorced was going to be pk and dorit you know creating like a tv moment and it was like oh wow boo, 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 whatever you know of course dorit kemsley and pk replied to this comment i mean they were pretty discussed by the whole situation dorit says something like uh, uh misery loves company and then pk of course you know he will can go on and on and on uh, when someone is after them. And what if I tell you that it's not things are not quite what they are trying to put out there. Now, do Erica Jane has information about the Reed's past involving Diana Jenkins and PK and also like a bunch of things from her their past? That is true. Is this few that they're trying to put out there truth? Well, not quite, okay? I'm gonna read you. This is coming from, you know, my little birdies out there. And it says that definitely the Fox 4-4s were really shaking up by the response they got at BravoCon. And Lisa is especially surprised despite playing it cool on camera. As, I, I mean, we all, we all saw 
Lisa Rena getting booed by everyone at BravoCon. But what we didn't saw that much was that Erica Jane was also booed and Carl Richards and Dorit, they were not booed when they came out, but every time that they show some kind of support for the other two, they were definitely booed as well. So that basically tell everyone, bitch, we are not playing anymore. So on Erica and Dorit, don't be fooled. They are in cahoots to stage a feud because they have accept that people want to see their gang dismantle. Dorit knows producers wants to talk about the financials. So this feud is a, a distraction. Basically, the big wigs were in attendance at BravoCon and we all saw how unpopular their gang is which spook the girls as the executives now have a clear justification to fire them okay the fans aka the real money makers have spoken now this is important does erica wants producers to dig into everyone's lawsuits yes a hundred percent okay is this particular feud real no they are trying to keep their jobs because we, they'll be making decisions in the next couple weeks. Kind of like makes sense to be honest. I mean, look, we have heard a lot of Lisa Rena possibly being fired of the show, okay? But now with this, like I told you, they realize that people don't really want Erica Jane either. People don't really want to read. The only one that people might want is Kyle Richards. And it's just because she has longevity and she has a, a real fandom out there, you know? So Kyle Richards' job is, of course, is going to be safe, like, for a very long time. But when it comes to the other three, well, four, if we include Diana, well, it's really not, uh, not that sure. So apparently... Allegedly, Dorit and Erica were like, well, what can we do? So maybe it will give us a storyline for next season. And it could be something stupid that we will fight in like one episode or whatever. And then we can like make out. But it will give the fans what they want because they want people to be against the folks for force. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense, you know. Uh, but the thing is that Dorit, if this is true, Dorit is making deals with the devil because the, Erica does have information on Dorit and she will be a fool to believe that Erica is not going to turn at any second to Dorit, any second, you know, and put all kind of rumors or all kind of bullshit about Dorit out there, she will do it in a second because that's the kind of person that Erica is. She said it herself, I don't give a fuck about anyone else but me. So I feel that Dorit needs to be careful. It, was it like a nice plan? Yes. Will it save their job? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But, well, now we know. Now, there it is, and now you know it. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about this whole thing. Do you think that this have a potential to actually become a big storyline? And not only the whole Dorit and PK, the whole Erica versus Dorit. Because I'm telling you, something is telling me, they might be playing now, but this is not going to end up well. And Dorit... She needs to be careful. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.